Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go on this Thursday morning, and it is a North Texas weather alert day for today, Thursday. But you know what? Tomorrow, Friday, it is also a North Texas weather alert day as well. It is spring here in the Lone Star State. So what is typical rainstorms and severe weather? And I tell you what, we've got that on the forecast, but we also have a prolonged opportunity of almost daily rain and storm chances. So I want to talk to you about that. Uh, even the opportunity maybe of some heavier rain here and there as well. Uh, details again on all of that. Of course, that severe weather timeline for today. Most important, we will be talking about that coming up. Uh, so mid 80s today for daytime highs. The, the warmth will be there. The humidity will continue to build in. You'll feel kind of that unstable factor developing throughout the day. And there's your storm timeline right as we go through the afternoon, specifically after 4 p.m. Rain probabilities increase. And in fact, even the evening commute here locally in the Metroplex could be stormy with severe weather possible. 50s, 60s, these were your morning lows. So again, kind of a balmy, kind of a humid start to the morning, uh, but again, not quite as cool as the last several mornings. Radar right now is pretty quiet. In fact, you have to look up in Oklahoma. Uh, there's currently a complex of storms moving through parts of Oklahoma. Uh, part of that did try and back build pre-dawn this morning into our northern counties along the Red River Valley. Didn't really manifest, didn't really take hold. So again, really all the activity again so far today has stayed up in Oklahoma, but again, that will be changing as we go through the day for one of two reasons. Number one, we have continue to track this big upper level storm system out across parts of the West Coast. It is anchored and simply put, it is really just not moving. So it's not necessarily this storm that's moving out towards North Texas today or tomorrow, uh, but what it's doing, it's pulling in, right? It's streaming in the subtropical jet. As this does come around that area of low pressure, you can see the white, you can see the green, and uh, this is what we call a turbulent flow pattern. There's little embedded impulses within that We'll have the dry line set up today, separating this moist air we have, warm air we have out there, again, from some very dry air coming in from West Texas. Again, we've got the subtropical jet up top. Again, you combine all of that, and again, you're getting the ingredients, you're getting the parameters, so to speak, for Yes, red, severe weather to be possible today. Again, first on our western counties, then moving in towards the 35 corridor, and then kind of waning opportunity. I do anticipate it to be weakening as it moves into our eastern counties. I'll show you the model data on that coming up. But the big, current, uh, the big concern today, it is going to be in the area of orange. It's an opportunity of larger hail, potentially up to the size of golf balls in that area of orange. Again, from the 35 corridor off to the east, quarters, half dollars, not impossible there. Uh, but again, the further to the east this activity gets from the I-35 corridor. Again, like I mentioned, I would anticipate that weakening trend. Now, while the tornado probability is not zero today, right? We know as we go through May, uh, the tornado probability is never zero in Texas, but the opportunity of organized tornadic activity appears to truly be up in Oklahoma. Our low-level winds are not favorable. In fact, they're absolutely not favorable for tornadic activity. So it would really have to be kind of a big act, so to speak, if you would, to get a tornado warning today. But of course, we cannot let our guard down for that. Uh, so as we go through the afternoon, relatively quiet, but here's 4 p.m., right? That's the magic number, 4 p.m. today. Thunderstorms developing along the dry line. And then you can see as we go through the late afternoon into the evening, 5, 6, 7 p.m., here they are moving into and through the Metroplex evening commute could be stormy. Evening plans could be stormy here in the Metroplex. And again, any of that activity could be severe with that hail threat. As we go through the evening, there goes the activity pushing off to the east. Again, should be in a weakening phase. Can't rule out severe weather off to the east. Again, we'll track that carefully, but as we go through the overnight, we'll be quiet. And then as we go through tomorrow, through most of the day, again, we'll be quiet. But by late day, take a look at that. Another opportunity of rain and storms developing tomorrow. And some of the storms tomorrow may even pose the opportunity of larger size hail. We do have another risk of severe weather tomorrow from the Storm Prediction Center, by the way, as well. 80s for daytime highs. There's that stair step opportunity of rain and storms developing and spreading east as we go through the day into the evening for any kind of evening plans. We're talking about temperatures in the 70s, but again, notice you do have that storm chance through the evening, so do uh, keep that in mind. Evening plans probably look pretty dicey here in the Metroplex. Back down into the upper 60s overnight, and then take a look at your highs tomorrow. 90s might even have a few triple digits tomorrow in our western counties. That is not a misprint. Even 90s here locally in the Metroplex tomorrow. And look at that extended forecast, almost daily opportunities of rain and storms.